Yeah. Unlearning means to uh, let go of things that we think we already know. It could be our judgments of other people, our judgments of ourselves, our judgments of the world, our judgments of the future, our understanding of cause and effect, how things work in the world, um, what motivates others, what's possible and what's not possible. Our experiences have, have told us the answers to these and our surrounding, uh, our social environment tells us the answers to these questions. But as I was saying, the answers are becoming no longer satisfying. And, and if we want to, to adopt a, a more satisfying understanding, we're going to have to let go of what we thought we knew. And often there's, you know, an emotional attachment to what we thought we knew. Uh, it could be integrated into our way of living, our way of, of diet, of healing ourselves, of educating our children, uh, our choice of work. Um, you know, how we spend our time, all of these things are part of what we have learned. So unlearning, it's not just changing the ideas in your head, but it's changing the lenses on your eyeballs. The, the world looks different as you unlearn things and it makes you available to learn new things. Because if you don't unlearn, you can cram new things into the already existing scaffold of knowledge. And, and push a, a given paradigm a bit further. But you're not going to change. And, and this is maybe why, why we call it unlearning for change agents. The change agent isn't only somebody who's maybe politically active, you know, or working for some kind of cause to change society or to change an organization, but it's also someone who is uh, ready and willing to undergo a change themselves. And, you know, I'm not saying that you should always be ready and willing to undergo a change yourself. Uh, some people I noticed in the chat were saying nothing. They would change nothing. And there is definitely, um, you know, a phase of, you could call it, I mean, everything's always changing anyway. So, you know, anything you do, anything you say creates some kind of impact in the world, some kind of change. But we don't need to get academic about that. Like, uh, there is a real sense where sometimes... I'm not out to change anything. I'm, 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 re I'm, I want to grow in what is already here. I don't want to change. I haven't fulfilled the state of being that I'm in right now, or a society still has, still hasn't fully developed that storyline that it had been in. You know, like America in 1950 wasn't, it just wasn't on the menu for it to change from its self conception as the hero nation building a global empire. That that story had not been fulfilled yet, and in you know the last couple of decades, it has reached its conclusion. So so that you know so whether on a national level or or a personal level, there is there is a phase of stability where um, you know relative predictability where you're not going to change. You don't want to change. It's not time to change. And if somebody tells you to change you're going to ignore them. But a lot of people now, uh, because of the, the, because so many stories are reaching their, their next chapter right now, all at the same time, there are many, many people who are, who really want to be a change agent, either for the world or for themselves.